Hello, I'm Sarah Bear Sinnott, president of Old Ways, and I'm thrilled to be here to celebrate Jessica Harris. Once a year at the annual Readable Feast Culinary Book Festival, Old Ways is pleased and proud to sponsor the K. Dunn Gifford Award. This award, named for Old Ways founder K. Dunn Gifford, is given to a New Englander who, through some medium of food, author, writer, educator, chef, grower, producer, activist, nutritionist, has positively affected our local foodways. Dunn Gifford, like our award winners, was a New Englander, and more than 30 years ago, after a career in politics and business, he started the nonprofit Old Ways to preserve and promote culinary traditions. He founded Old Ways with a vision for the future, that people, societies, and the planet will be healthier happier, and sustainable by embracing the old ways of food, cultural food traditions, the idea that a sensible update of the literal old ways will lead to better health for people and for the planet. The work that he started continues today, and we hope you'll visit our website, oldwaysptforpreservationtrust.org. This year's recipient of the K. Dunn Gifford Local Hero Award is Dr. Jessica Harris, Dean of African Culinary History, author of 12 critically acclaimed books documenting the foods and foodways of the African diaspora, including High on the Hog, inspiration for the Netflix series of the same name. Although she makes her home in Brooklyn during the colder months of the year, Jessica is a proud New Englander by virtue of the countless summers she spends as a summer resident of Martha's Vineyard. Recent years have certainly been Jessica's time with overdue recognition of her work and demands for much more of her stellar scholarship and writing. But before we get back to today, here's an all too short look back at all that Jessica has accomplished. She's a scholar. She was a professor in the English department at Queens College, the City University of New York, for 50 years until very recently when she decided she'd rather be a professor emerita. As you would expect, she holds plenty of degrees, a BA, an MA in French literature, and a PhD in performance studies where she focused on the French-speaking theater of Senegal. Of course, she speaks French fluently and tries to spend as much time in Paris and France as she can. Not surprisingly, she can also make herself understood in Spanish and Portuguese as well. As a culinary historian, Jessica has distinguished herself both in writing and as a speaker. By saying Jessica is the Dean of African Culinary History, we mean she is the authority. She's been teaching us through books, lectures, television, and other appearances for many years. She's written 12 books that document the foods and foodways of the African diaspora. Plus her memoir, My Soul Looks Back, was a finalist for the Penn Open Book Award. And she's lectured on African-American foodways at many important museums. At Old Ways, we were lucky enough to meet Jessica through our early Mediterranean overseas symposiums. With Old Ways, she lectured on topics such as Moroccan food, Mediterranean and North African contexts, and helped with an authentic meal served at Old Ways' very first Latin American diet conference in 1996. Latin America is, of course, part of the African diaspora. As the years went on, Jessica and I had a number of conversations about the importance of African foods and cooking and the need for old ways to add an African diet pyramid to our family of heritage diets. So of course, Jessica was the first person I called before we began work on the African heritage diet in 2011. Her reputation and name as the first member of the advisory council certainly was a reason we were able to assemble such a wonderful committee to collectively create the African heritage diet pyramid. In 2012, when we started to create a curriculum to bring the African Heritage Diet Pyramid to life, she was again the first we called upon, and she was an important guide and advisor as we developed it. Thank you, Jessica. This curriculum now has been taught from coast to coast, both for adults and for children. 
Happily, Jessica is now known to many, many more people other than just food folks. Her book, High on the Hog, was the inspiration for the Netflix series of the same name. As the New York Times wrote, High on the Hog has opened viewers' eyes to the history of black food and the challenging circumstances that brought ingredients to the United States. Jessica Harris has been writing and speaking about this topic for years. How exciting it is that African diasporan food and history are getting the attention they deserve and how exciting it is that so many more people are learning the truth. There's so much more distance to travel and certainly Jessica Harris will continue leading the way. Dunn believed that each of us can make a difference. Jessica, that you certainly have. And if Dunn were here, he'd be applauding you the loudest. We all join him and say thank you and bravo.